Governor Kathy Hochul is calling the now days long winter storm in the western part of the state a war with mother nature and one of the worst blizzards in Buffalo's history. Whiteout conditions paralyzing rescue operations. The Erie County Executive says two thirds of the equipment they sent out got stuck and there had to be rescues for the rescuers. Governor Hochul called on the National Guard Friday night. Some are asking why they weren't positioned sooner. I could have had 5,000 people all ready to come in, but it was challenging because once the snow starts, you can't even see. So we had people ready to be deployed. The National Guard takes a little bit of time to call up. They don't just show up when you click your fingers. But also we knew that we had to get the plows and the plow drivers in first so the roads could get cleared and that was our first priority. The National Guard comes in to help when local governments aren't able to accomplish their jobs. You don't bring them in every minute, you bring them in to support the local recovery efforts. Governor Hochul says she's asking the federal government for an emergency disaster declaration in order to unlock funds to help those still impacted by the storm. She was in Erie County today with an update along with the mayor of Buffalo. Also stop by our, the Maston Avenue Armory to talk to the men and women of the National Guard who've come in from all over the state, have been deployed there over uh, 400 strong, more are on the way and we're gonna continue uh, having them involved in our missions. At one point we had more than 20,000 uh, without power in the city of Buffalo. That number is now under 10,000. We continue to work very aggressively with National Grid and other partners uh, to open up areas that they need to get to. In situations like this, it truly does take a village. Albany County was thanked at the news conference today for deployment of their county employees and equipment to help out with the historic storm situation in Erie County. And we look now at a news conference that's just begun uh, regarding that assistance. There's County Executive Dan McCoy. This is at the DPW garage in Voorheesville, joined by Steve uh, Querio of NYSAC and DPW personnel. The county executive is highlighting the extent Albany County has gone to assist Erie County in cleanup and ensure safety for every everyone and following what has been said to be the worst storm ever. So we will continue to monitor this to assist departments there with the response to this blizzard. Uh, state troopers and Rochester police on the ground in Buffalo tonight. And now Monroe County has deployed firefighters from eight different departments. 13 WAMS Carla Rogner spoke with some of them this afternoon. Carla. Yeah, Matt, fire crews got the call for help last night on Christmas. They packed their bags in this morning. They headed out to departments across Erie County. It's kind of a scene out of the movies that uh, you would never expect to see. This crew from the Gates Fire District is one of eight Monroe County fire departments on the ground in Erie County. They're responding to calls in Cheektowaga. And as Western New York firefighters, they're used to winter weather, but say this is something else. We're trudging through. Uh, three, four, five feet of snow just to get to somebody's house where, you know, we take advantage of that we could just walk up a driveway and through a sidewalk and, and right into their front door and start helping them out. Crews from the Henrietta Fire District also in Cheektowaga, digging their way through massive amounts of snow to answer calls for help while facing unprecedented challenges. Not only the pile of snow, whether it be trying to attempt to walk through three feet of snow with fire gear on, um, but just anything in general, whether it be with EMS and trying to safely uh, bring the patient outside into the ambulance versus trying to dig out hydrants around if there's ever a house fire. Um, and then also in general, the vehicles on the side of the roads that we'll have to drive around. Monroe County's fire coordinator Steve Shalaba spent Christmas evening recruiting these crews to head west. But we gave them a safety briefing. Um, you know, they understand the conditions that they're going into. They're well trained to be able to operate in those environments. Crews have been actively working, uh, responding to everything from vehicle fires to medical calls to residential water problems. Uh, any really call for service where they can supplement that home agency and their manpower uh, to provide that service to that community. And these fire crews will be deployed for three days and Monroe County officials say they are prepared to send more help after that if it's still needed. Also tonight, we are hearing more from a former employee at the Monroe County Children's Detention Center. Gregory Bodine was let go after being charged with criminal obstruction of breathing and child endangerment following an incident at the facility. He sat down exclusively with 13 Wham's Jackie Napier to talk about the issues he says are taking place at the detention center. Good evening, Jackie. 
Good evening, Chase. Bodine says children housed at the detention center are being abused physically and mentally. Gregory Bodine started at the Children's Detention Center in January of 2022. He was let go following an incident in October where a child accused Bodine of choking him. Bodine, however, says the child was spitting at him and he was attempting to redirect the spitting. Now, Bodine is speaking out about the issues he believes are present at the Children's Center. We didn't have the training that we needed for the job or at least to survive on the job. Bodine says he only received one or two weeks of training before being placed on the floor at the Children's Detention Center. He also believes employees are not properly trained on how to safely restrain children. So they're jumping on a kid, grabbing up, throwing them to the ground. They get the handcuffs out. Now, while you're throwing this kid to the ground, now you're holding them. You're holding this kid down there. Get the handcuffs, get the handcuffs, handcuffs. Maybe the kid is kicking, you can't get the handcuff on. Now you're now you grabbing this kid's leg, you probably twist it. You, it's chaotic. We spoke about the arrest of another former center employee, John Kanu. He's accused of allowing two minors to engage in slap boxing. According to Bodine, Fight Club, as he calls it, has been around at the Children's Detention Center since before he and Kanu were employed there. Kids go into the bathroom together and they let them fight. Either they're rival gang members or they just don't like each other and they let them go in the bathroom and they let them fight. One of the most shocking allegations Bodine makes is regarding an alleged incident between a child and an employee. He went in the kid's room, which we don't supposed to do. If we do, it's supposed to be another staff there to make sure everything is good. Went in the kid's room, beat the kid up. The county said, quote, the county does not comment on ongoing investigations. We do urge you to review the police report, arrest and arraignment details, end quote. Those documents are available on 13wham.com.